mistake. Um, how was it? A week. I mean, week. I do some shopping. I know. Well, <laughs> oh, well there, there you go. That's what, that, that is almost my question. In the fact that how do you how do you manage it? You, you, you've done it plenty of times, but how do you manage it? as a sportsman? Christmas Day is you have the game the next day. You have games all over the shop. How do you find that balance between spending some time with your family as well? Well, look, again, I've always been, I've always been since I've gone into coaching and management. Um, I don't work Sundays unless it's, unless it's a fixture, and I don't work Christmas Day. Um, when I say I don't work, uh, I don't get the players to attend training. Um, when I first started out as a player, there was different um, different formats. Some managers used to get you in early on Christmas Day. Some managers used to get you in late in the afternoon. Some managers would have you in a hotel uh, Christmas evening. There's all all different formats and different rounds of reasons. And uh, again, I've. On Boxing Day, I've won, drawn, and lost lots of games. Uh, and again, now this opportunity, me being in the manager seat, the, the players know probably from the day that they sign, I don't work uh, Christmas Day. <laughs> it's just one of those Christmas days that they do uh, enjoy yourself, be around your family, um, embrace what Christmas means to you as an individual. But, but then I'll, I'll automatically, then I'll pass five, six o'clock. My apologies. That'll be a donation. I'll pass five, six o'clock. You get switched on because you've got a game the next day. So after Christmas dinner, enjoy your family time. Share, share a glass of wine if, 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 that's, what you, if that's what you're into. Uh, enjoy the presents um, that you brought your kids. Uh, spend time with your family and get yourself to bed and then prepare for the game. Um, so uh, again, we do work before it. Uh, we're in early on Christmas Eve. Um, the game plan set out the teams and the teams announced so the players who are playing know that they're playing but also then within that the squad players they don't go mental at Christmas just because they're uh, not involved in the starting 11 because we don't name the subs so anybody within the squad who uh, needs to be available and again this is, and I think a lot of it is the, the bond that you build up uh, and the trust that you build up with your players so you know uh, I do give players enough time off for them to look after themselves as well, away f away from the building. But there's an expectancy when they're away that uh, they're still representing themselves, myself, and the football club, and also the profession. Uh, and Christmas Day, what's your role then? Are you in charge of the turkey? Uh, what's going on? Uh, uh, my role Christmas Day is as so um, I've got my partner over with uh, with her kids. Uh, I've got my daughter over. Then I'm going to go and see, uh, then I. Um, that's on, they're saying Christmas Eve, so we have Christmas morning together. Then I'm going to me son's house, and he lives next door to me daughter in Manchester uh, with me four grandkids. And then I'm going for dinner at me ex-wife's house, who lives just round uh, or just just up the road. Um, I'm doing the cooking um, for her and her new husband. Now, but I'm only cooking the turkey and, the, and roast potatoes. The, um, my Christmas dinner is the turkey's got to be right. Roast potatoes have got to be right. Most important uh, areas, of course. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a mixed bag of uh, family emotions on a Christmas yeah, day. That, yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a couple of journeys you've got to make, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 